and welcome to your gold market update and charts of interest for today wednesday the 25th of january mike smith senior analyst at gold markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today overnight there was a choppy session for us markets as earnings jitters created a pause you obviously had microsoft out after the bell that beat expectations but was really choppy after our trade we saw it move up four percent and settle around about one percent to the downside very interesting market response to some good numbers uh, dow was the only index to close mildly positive it'd be interesting to see the follow through we have got more big earnings today which may influence sentiment of course and that's possibly what's going on here u.s futures are mildly negative in early asian trading the nasdaq is the outperformer around about 0.6 percent to the downside at this stage asian indices are mixed with that unclear lead from wall street and Nikkei is in positive territory, as was the ASX, but subsequent to a hotter than expected CPI number, we've seen it move negatively down around 0.35%. European equity futures currently are pointing to a weaker open, and the VIX is still trading around at that key 20 level. In the FX world, the US dollar index is still pausing around those eight month lows. It's near neutral today so far. The major currency moving is the AUD obviously on the back of that CPI data. We're seeing gold test nine month highs around that 1935. It's up slightly in Asia at this stage. Copper has paused still below that 430 and oil dropped back last night after its recent strength, just a pullback to a previously tested level. Bitcoin also pulled back from five months highs. It seems to be moving in tandem with equity markets at the moment, although to a greater degree in terms of how much it moves so it's given away some of the early week gains but obviously we're still in a far far better position uh, than we have been for some considerable time there's obviously that major ramp up in earnings season this week and we get the same next week today we've got amongst others at&t boeing both of which have major influences on the dow boeing particularly is likely to move the dow significantly tesla and ibm are also reporting as well which will impact on tech stocks as i've already reported the hotter than expected cpi data coming out of australia we also had some warm numbers come out of new zealand as well that's going to give both reserve banks a green light to be more aggressive with interest rate rises we've also got uk ppi data and the bank of canada rate decision out later today a couple of charts of interest Okay, so we're going to start with one of the Aussie dollar crosses. Not surprisingly, we'll start with the Aussie yen. You can see it on the daily chart. We actually breached the 200 MA a couple of days ago. Had a bit of a nothing day yesterday. Uh, but you can see that big move up today on the back of that CPI number. In terms of where this could go, well, if you're trading on the daily chart, then there looks to be an obvious point at around about 92.86, 93 that this may go to. If we look on a 15-minute chart, you can see that's when the inflation number came out. We've got a little follow through on the next candle and just a little profit taken as we talk at this stage. So it'll be interesting to see what the next direction is, but possibly, as we said, a move up towards that 92.86 level is on the cards. With stocks, have been tracking LYC over the past few days and we can see it's continued its move higher despite general ASX weakness. Uh, and this move over $9 looks important. Uh, so there's 903. That was almost a high yesterday. You can see we've got some follow through today. If we get a continuation of this throughout the day, we could see this up around 930 in the first instance. But we still think this could be up around this 975 level. Uh, you can see there's lots of price action around here previously in the medium term. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.